Hey or hey again, this is Andy from potatoesandpearls.com and in this video I am going to do something a little bit different. I am following how to make popcorn in the Instant Pot. I've seen videos, I've read different things on it and I want to see for myself if popcorn in the Instant Pot comes out just as good or better as popcorn from the Air Popper. I personally own an air popper I use it all the time and so I just wanted to see does this hold up so I'm gonna get into it right after this so every recipe I saw said to add in two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of most of them said coconut oil but it's really just a oil that can withstand high heat so instead of coconut oil I did use almond oil just because I personally don't like coconut oil but this should work with any high heat oil or any type of oil that's good in high heat so I've put that in the pot. The Instant Pot is currently in saute mode on the more setting or the high setting. So you want it at its highest heat. And I am going ahead and getting the butter melted down and getting it blended in with the oil. So once everything has melted down, according to the multiple recipes I read, you are supposed to add in a half a cup of popcorn kernels. You're supposed to stir the popcorn kernels around so they get coated in the oil butter mixture. And so that's what I am doing here. And then you go ahead and put on a glass lid. Any glass lid that fits on your Instant Pot is fine. You're just not supposed to use the pressure cooker lid as it can cause issues. So as you can see, the popcorn is starting to pop. So I won, I was amazed by that because I honestly didn't even know if that was gonna happen. <laughs> um, so the popcorn is popping. The steam from it popping is building up on the lid. I did see in some of the recipes I let, read where people could they lifted up the lid a little bit to let some of that steam out. This particular lid does have a hole in the top where some of the steam can escape. And so at this point, the popping slowed down. There was still a little bit of popping, but it slowed down for the most part. And normally with any type of microwave popcorn, air pop or anything, when the popping slows down, you are normally done making your popcorn. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off and I have popcorn, amazingly. So I didn't like this <laughs> at all. Uh, this was all of the popcorn that came out of the Instant Pot. It's in a single serve bowl. Mo a good portion of the kernels didn't pop and some of them had a burnt flavor to them. And I didn't have any burnt particles in the bottom of the pot. It was just like the corn was burnt. So I'm not really sure if I would ever do this again. I think I'm gonna stick with my air popper. If you guys have seen some videos where this has come out really well, let me know down in the comments cause I, I would like to know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me testing out making popcorn in the Instant Pot. If you guys would like me to test out anything else, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.